Hi, it's Naomi, and we're on the road again, and today we're headed to one of the most historic dwellings in southern New Jersey. We're coming up on the Borough of Woodstown, which is quite the historic area. Entering historic Woodstown, which from the sign I see was founded in 1720, but we're going much further back than that today to a dwelling that dates back to 1669 and is a National Historic Landmark. And here we are in the historic district of Woodstown, which is made up of many diverse historic architectural styles. I see they've also had a big storm come through. And here on the corner, we're coming past the Woodstown Friends Meeting House. Now we're pulling up to the Samuel Shivers home. So let's see if the owner is in. Hi, welcome to the Samuel Shivers house. We're in avid preparation of the Salem County House store occurring on May 4th from 10 to 4 p.m. Come on in. Welcome to the Samuel Shivers house. My name is Greg Perry. I'm the owner and curator of this historic dwelling. It's located in the historic district in Woodstown, New Jersey. It dates from 1669, 1724, and 1813. We are participating this year in the Salem County Spring Homes Tour of Fenwick's Colony. It will be presented on May 5th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is very important to help maintain our historical society, the funding, so please give it your utmost attention for attendance and please tell your friends and neighbors. We'll take a, a brief walk through just a few of the rooms as, as a teaser and, uh, and proceed from there. And you may find a few updates from us from time to time. If you need any other information, visit the Salem County Historical Society's website to find out where ticket purchases can be made. Welcome to the uh, 1813 Shivers House Music Room. This is the most ambitious project we endeavored in the restoration. We're through uh, about four rooms now in the dwelling, only uh, being owner for about two, two and a half years. Um, this room had totally been stripped down in 1948, which was considered a restoration, but in actual fact, it was a bastardization. These raised panels were original to the music room. Joseph Shin created this room. He wanted to have the feel, the ambiance of London and Paris, what that had to offer in southern New Jersey. And there's no other dwelling that would, no other room that would encompass that to my knowledge other than this room. This room is featuring in 1813, the date that this part of the house was built, a piano forte made in Boston. We have a hammered dulcimer in front of me. And this is, again, just a few of the samples of the, the items and the objects. Uh, the room has just been repaneled with a lot of original fabric. Uh, we had someone come forth uh, a bit ago, a, a couple years ago, and they, they led us on to where, in 1948, Betty Lippincott sold a lot of the architectural millwork out of the house. It was located in Calais, Maine. It's come back to us now, and a lot of these panels, frame end panels, had been reactivated into the wall. And let's just look at another piece. This is a, a plaque from Spain, and it's, it's gilded, and it's talking about a brotherhood, somewhere dated around 1690. And a, a look at the clock. This is a tall clock from Brown, 
Mr. Brown of London was the horologist to King George III. And proudly engraved on the dial, he's telling us where his studio was located. It was located across from the King's Mews. So a real important piece of horological memorabilia. Uh, in addition, we're going to be um, putting onto the walls several mirrors, period style mirrors from France and from Italy and from England, the UK. So this was a worldly room, an international room of some scientific instruments, musical instruments, um, and great, great gilded artwork. Thank you, we hope to see you then.